Welcome to Interwear's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. Today I'm going to create an MEK1 transaction automation script with Interwear's Process Runner. Let's open up Process Runner now. Process Runner is a standalone application. It can be installed on a desktop, Citrix, NVIDIA, VMware, Hyper-V. Best of all, nothing needs to be installed on your SAP backend. Now I'm going to click on the new button here on the start page. Now I'm going to type in the transaction code MEK1. I'll click the start recording button. Now I'm going to log into an SAP system from my SAP landscape. So this would normally be my sandbox, my quality environment. Click the log on here. Now I can enter a uh, username and password. It does also work with uh, single sign-on, HTTP, HTTPS, SSO1 and SSO2 authentication as well. So now I'm just going to bring up an Excel spreadsheet here where I have my data. I'm going to be creating some conditions that are plant specific here. So I'm going to start out with my condition type, PB00. Click the enter button. Now I'm going to select the material info record plant specific. Click the OK button again here. Now I'm going to put in the vendor number, material number, purchasing organization, and then the plant. Now I'm going to go to the info type where I'll enter zero, and then head over to the amount where I'll enter 50, followed by the unit, which is going to be in euros here. And then we have the unit condition, and so that is PC. And then finally, we have the valid on date, as well as the valid to date. And now that this is finished out, I'm just going to click the Save button here. And now I save the transaction file or script that I've created to my hard drive or my network. And I'm just going to keep it at the default folder path here. Click the OK button. And now I'm going to be taken into the Mapper tab of Process Runner. And right now I'm on the simple view here. I like to keep it simple as I don't have any complex mapping that needs to be done for this particular transaction. But I do want to link the script to the external Excel file uh, that I got my data from. So right from this drop down here, I'm going to select external Excel. Now I just need to select the appropriate Excel spreadsheet. Push the open button here. This is going to, you can see this refresh here. Now I've linked the script to that external Excel file that I showed you earlier. I just need to verify my mapping. I've got my condition type coming from A, my vendor account number from B, material number from C, purchasing organization from D, plant is from E, purchasing info record category from F, the rate condition amount is G, rate unit currency is H, Condition unit I, validity start date, and end date J and K. So my mapping is set. Now I'm ready to go to the home tab and just test out my script. So I'm going to go ahead now and just I can put in any end row that I want as Excel is a 1.3 million row limit. I'm just going to leave this at 500. I could go ahead and run this now, but I like to go to the mapper tab for whatever reason. I just like to see kind of the data as I'm running this. So I'm going to push the run button now and uh, now I can choose to log into a different system here. I could log into a different environment, but if I want to keep it at the same environment, again, I can just uh, keep that setting. Put in the username and password, click the OK button. Now the SAP messaging writes directly to the Excel spreadsheet. So this is showing that I have created those condition records, flashed back to the mapper tab here, shows the amount of finished calls, shows that this is finished. So I was successfully able to create this script here. So what I want to do now is I'll show you how as a designer you can embed the script into the external Excel file and then your end user will be able to use Excel as an interfaced SAP. So right from this drop down here I'm going to select the Saves Excel Add-in Ready file and now I'm just going to click the uh, Generate button here. I just click OK at this pop-up. And now it actually will embed the script right into the Excel file. So now if I click on the Process Runner Excel Add-in tab, there you can see the MEK1 process file. 
So now if I want to run this, I can just simply delete this here. Let's get some new messaging. Change this end row here. Go ahead and hit the run button here. Now as an end user, I can actually log into my production environment or whatever SAP system that I need to upload this data to. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, hit the log on button here. Hit OK. Now we'll send this data right up to SAP. There I've got my success messaging right into the Excel spreadsheet. I have now made Excel my interface to SAP, greatly simplifying things for my end user. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to learn more about Inawera's products, as well as view some more tutorial videos, please visit us at inawera.com and be on the lookout for more videos in this series.